Hey guys! What is my hand doing? Hey guys, so, oh my god, there are flies. Hey guys, so today I have an update of my products I regret buying video. I think I was wearing this exact same beanie in my other video too. Anyways, I don't have too, too many products to talk about, um, but there are definitely some that are still in my collection that I'm like, why? Why? When I did my, like, makeup purge a couple months ago before I moved, I got rid of a lot of the stuff that was just kind of like cheap stuff that you know, it doesn't really matter, but a lot of this stuff is a little bit more, a little bit more expensive, so I just wanted to update you on the products I regret buying. So, let's get started. So, this one is first kind of an update from my last products I regret buying video. This was the LA Pro Conceal, and this one is in Classic Ivory. I mentioned that this was in my products I regret buying because it was the lightest shade and it was still too dark. Well, they came out with lighter shades, and I got the color Porcelain. The color's fine, but I hate this concealer. I don't understand why people like it so much. Like, mine is so chunky. Like, so chunky, and like, I don't know, it just doesn't blend out very well. The, I, I don't know, I just don't like it at all. It's not very creamy. It's kind of hard, like, weird to work with. I don't know, it's just chunky. The applicator sucks. I don't know why people freak out about it because I just, I don't think it's very good. I mean the pigmentation or like the like coverage is okay but like the texture just, oh, I don't like it. So still on a products I regret buying video, sorry. Next is a relatively inexpensive product but I bought it with the um, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty deal, it was like half off. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure. I just, this is such a heavy primer and like I mostly use primer on my nose so that my makeup doesn't break off and so it like kind of creates like a smooth surface but this doesn't do that. A lot of the time it emphasizes like my little bumps that I have on my nose. It doesn't really like, I don't notice any of like any pore filling sort of things. I don't know, I just don't, I've noticed more harm than good whenever I use this primer and I don't know why that is but I did so I really don't like this primer at all. Sorry. Next thing you guys have seen me use in a lot of videos, but the more I use it, the more I kind of don't like it. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and obviously this isn't cruelty-free. I bought it before I went cruelty-free, which a lot of these products I did buy before I went cruelty-free. But, like, aside from regretting buying it because it's not cruelty-free, this flash flashes back so badly. Like, so badly. I don't understand how, like, these big names are, like, using this and then taking pictures because whenever I, like, take a picture with flash, it literally looks like I have white streaks under my eyes. It looks so, so bad. So, like, yeah, it looks good, like, if you don't use a flash, but, like, I don't know, it just flashes back so, so badly. And there are, like, a ton of, like, glitters in this. Like, literally, like, shimmer. I don't know. I'm just not really... The more that I've used it, the more I kind of regret buying it. Okay, this next one is Gerard Cosmetics. I bought Underground, which is this color, and then I bought Kimchi Doll. And I just, I honestly don't get the hype. I do not get the hype with Gerard Cosmetics. I, I just think that, like, especially Underground, it's not nearly as opaque as, like, ColourPop Tootsie or ColourPop Trap or, like, Lime Crimes Cashmere, and like I get those are different formulas, but like I just think there's so many, especially with like the grayish being like a huge trend now, there's so many more options than this, and like I feel this way about Kimchi Doll too. I just don't, they're kind of stiff and you, they aren't very opaque, you really have to like layer it up or put a lip liner underneath it. I don't know, I just don't think they're that good of lipsticks for how like much you hear about them. You're like, oh, dried cosmetics, dried cosmetics, but like I don't think they're that good of lipsticks. Sorry! Oh, and I'm gonna put a disclaimer. None of these are bad brands or anything. These are just products that I personally didn't work out for me, wasn't the right color, wasn't the right shade, didn't work for my skin tone. You guys know the deal with the disclaimer on products I regret buying. They aren't like terrible products. I just personally, they didn't work for me and my personal makeup standards. There you go. Anyways, let's get on with it. This next one is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. 
I just, so this is like, a lot of the jumbo eye pencils are used for like makeup bases or like eyeshadow bases. I've tried to use this as an eyeshadow base so many times and it just doesn't work. It's so like greasy almost and it immediately creases and just like, it doesn't prime your eyes very well and it's not a very opaque black. It's not like a really pigmented black. I don't know. The milk pencil is fine. Like that one's really thick, but like this one's a lot thinner in consistency. I don't know. It's just a lot like slipperier and I don't know what it is about this one, but I really, really don't like it as like a black eyeshadow base. I just don't. I don't think it works very well. So that's all I have to say about that. Okay, now I have two liquid lipsticks. This one I've talked about before in my like lipstick kind of regrets video. This is the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Rosa. It smells like marshmallows. It smells so good. It's the most beautiful like hot or not hot pink like baby baby pink it's so pretty but this isn't opaque enough for one like one swipe one application but if you try to layer it up and put multiple applications it cakes up and flakes off and like when you put on a second layer it'll pull off the first layer and it just like cakes around your mouth and it cracks and it just it's a really really bad formula I think it might just be this color because I've heard amazing things about all the other ones but this formula is so just it, it's not workable you can't work with this so I'm so sad this is expensive it smells so good it smells so good and the color is so unique but I just I can't work with it I just it doesn't work and I've tried it with a lip liner I've tried like completely letting the first layer dry and then putting on a second layer like nothing I do makes this work so I'm sorry but I don't like it and then the next I've actually heard this about this particular lip shade multiple times but this is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood just a really really gorgeous nude it's a really like whipped creamy formula but this gives me what Jaclyn Hill calls butthole mouth, where, like, you get a line of liquid lipstick around your mouth, and, like, it's, I'm okay with it with, like, darker colors. I don't, I don't know. I think it's, like, more okay. But with this light color, it just looks so bad. And, like, it is such a strong, like, line on your mouth, and, like, it's, it's just, like, it's gross looking. It's really, really, really gross looking. And I've heard that that happens to a lot of people. I think Kathleen Lights mentioned that hers did that. And I think Jaclyn Hill did too. But I don't know. This is my only Anastasia liquid lipstick purchase ever. And it was only because I found it at the Impulse like thing in Macy's. So I was just like, oh, I'm going to try it. But I've literally only worn it once because it's just, it doesn't, it's not cute. It looks so bad. So really really bummed about that but I do want to try other Anastasia liquid lipstick colors because I've heard their formula has gotten like better and better as time has gone gone on okay the next two products are, I have two products left so this is the Sonia Kashuk warm tan undetectable cream bronzer I like the formula of this but the colors suck so I got the lighter of the two colors and it is so dang orange. It's a really cool formula. It literally is like like kind of cream to powder, but look how orange that is. That is like pumpkin guts orange. And like, I don't know, the formula is so cool. Like now it's like literally, it's like a powder now. It's so cool, but like this looks like a bad fake tan color. <laughs> like I just, I wish they had better colors. And I've heard the darker one is a little bit more brown, but the darker one is too dark for me. And they only have two colors, so like, is uh, ooh, I don't know. Really bummed about that. And that one was like ten bucks, so kind of bummed I spent my money on that. Whatever. And then the last product I think I may have talked about in a video, maybe, when I was talking about, like, my favorite, like, I mentioned this in a favorites, like, comparing it to one of my favorite highlighters. But this is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Miami Strip. Literally bought this because Kathleen Lights told me to. She said it's her favorite drugstore highlight and that it's, like, a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick dupe and all of that. But, like, mine must be deformed or something because I get zero pigmentation. Like... I literally, you can probably see, I kind of like scratched at it because a lot of people were saying that like you have to like um, kind of take off the first layer, but like it just, it doesn't come off. Like you can hardly see it. Like I don't, it's so subtle that it's not even worth it. 
and like it's not even that like reflective it's just kind of a light shade you know what I mean so I don't I feel and I've heard so many people talk say good things about this and I feel like maybe I just got a dud but like I don't want to spend another $13 on a bad highlighter Ooh. the physician's formula these ones the like nude strips this one is amazing it's so worth the money but the shimmer strips I don't know have you do you guys have this do you love it do you have other colors do you love it any of these products do you have them and why do you love them because maybe I'm just like I don't know maybe I'm just using it wrong or something anyways so that was relatively quick but those are all of my kind of updated products I regret buying situations again if these are some of your favorite products please don't be offended it's just my personal opinion and yeah that's that's all it is. These aren't bad products and these aren't bad lines or bad brands. Just these specific products just didn't work out. So please don't get offended. I mean well. I love you guys. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or enjoyed it in some way or another. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>